Word Processor An Introduction Part 1 Class 3 Our learning objectives are Opening Word 2013 Components of Word 2013 Creating and saving a new document Opening a saved document Printing a document Closing a document And, exiting Word 2013 Microsoft Word is used for writing letters Notes Stories Poems Paragraphs Essays and assignments at home. In schools, it can be used for preparing timetables, report card, test papers, assignments, and notes. At workplaces, it can be used for writing project reports and emails. There are many versions of Microsoft Word, such as Microsoft Word 2003, Microsoft Word 2007 Microsoft Word 2010 Microsoft Word 2013 and Microsoft Word 2016 To open a Word document, click the Start button. Click All Apps. Click Microsoft Office 2013 and select Word 2013. The Word 2013 window will appear. Now, let us have a look at components of Word 2013. The file menu has various options for saving, opening, printing, and sharing your file. The Quick Access Toolbar contains buttons for the commonly used options such as Save, Undo, and Redo. Title Bar displays the name of the active document. The document name is followed by the program name. Microsoft Word, by default, names the new document you open as Document 1. It has Maximize, Minimize, or Restore Down, and Close buttons. The ribbon is divided into tabs such as Home, Insert, and so on. Each tab has several groups. Ruler measures the length and width. It also shows the page margins. The scroll bars are used to move the screen up and down or left and right. The two scroll bars are vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar. Work area is the area where you type text. The vertical blinking line that you see in the work area is called the cursor. The status bar shows detailed information about your document, such as current page number, the word count, etc. There are three view tabs. You can click these buttons to choose the required view of the document. The zoom slider is used to zoom the document view. Creating a new document To create a new document, click the File menu. Select the New option in the drop-down list. Click Blank Document in the list. Here, you can choose a template or access recently edited documents also. New document with the name Document 1 will open. To save a document, click the File menu. Select Save As option in the drop-down list. 
the Save As dialog box appears. Type the file name, such as poem. Now click on Save button. The Word document automatically adds a period and an extension. .docx to the file name. To open a document, click the file menu. Select the open option from the list. The open dialog box appears. Select the file name from the file list. Or you may type its name in the file name text box. Now, click the open button. Your required document will open. To take prints, click the file menu. Select the print option from the list. The print pane appears. Choose the printer installed on the computer. Select the page range and number of copies to be printed. Click print button to print the document. Note, to take the prints, printer should be attached to your computer. To close the document, click the file menu. Select the close button from the list. If you have not saved the document, a prompt box appears asking you to save your changes too. After that click the close button on the upper right corner of the window. Your document will be closed. Recap Word is a program that you can use to type and write poems, stories, letters, essays, etc. To start Word 2013, select Start, All Apps. Microsoft Word 2013, and, Word 2013. The different components of Microsoft Word are Quick Access Toolbar, Title Bar, Ribbon, Rulers, Scroll Bars, Work Area, Status Bar, and View Tabs. Every document has a default name, Document 1, Document 2, and so on. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.